products and companies once again if you've not done this question try it out it's a wonderful question become uh, i didn't understand it at first it become one of my uh, favorite questions each of the 23 boxes in the picture below represents a product manufactured by one of the following three companies alpha bravo and charlie the area of a box is proportional to the revenue from the corresponding product while its center represents the product popularity and market potential scores of the product the shadings of some of the boxes have got erased wonderful so the shadings have got erased we have alpha bravo charlie so this is red is bravo blue is alpha and uh, black is charlie so this could be any of the three this could be any of the three so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 about 10 boxes unmarked which we don't know uh, which company's product that is The company has classified their product into four categories based on a combination of scores: product popularity score and market potential score. I'm going to look at the chart again. Product popularity is here, zero to twenty. Market potential is here, zero to twenty. Okay. If it is both are greater than ten, then it is promising. If product popularity is greater than ten but market potential is less than or equal to ten, then it is blockbuster. If product popularity is less than or equal to 10 but market potential is greater than 10 it's doubtful both are less than or equal to 10 it's no hope right one of these two quadrants are going to be easy promising and no hope and 10 is the midpoint so effectively we are being told that at 10 if you draw a line like this and at 10 if you draw a line like this we are breaking this up into four quadrants this is promising this is no hope and then we have a blockbuster where if market potential is lesser but product popularity is high so this will be blockbuster and this side will be i don't know what it is called uh, that'll be doubtful but the potential is there for the market but we don't have a popular enough product right wonderful so we're breaking it into four quadrants now the following facts are all known known Alpha and Bravo had the same number of products in the blockbuster category. Charlie had more products than Bravo but fewer products than Alpha in the no hope category. Each company had an equal number of products in the promising category. Charlie did not have any product in the doubtful category while Alpha had one more than Bravo. Bravo had a higher revenue than Alpha from products in the doubtful category. Charlie had higher revenue from Bravo from products. Bravo and Charlie had the same revenue. in the no hope category alpha and charlie had the same total revenue considering all products and if you notice these four talk about revenue the first four talk about number of products in each category right so let's do the number of products simplify that and then we'll go on to the rest right so fine I just outline this broken it into four quadrants doubtful promising blockbuster and no hope 10 is the breaking point the cut off point for each of this this is the category the definition we've done this quadrants part so alpha and bravo had the same number of products in the blockbuster category so alpha and bravo alpha is blue, blue. bravo is red there are already two blues is one red so we both can be two or both can be more than two both cannot be more than two we don't have room for three of each we cannot have less than 2 that means the two alphas and two bravos in this the totally seven so this is going to break us alpha 2 bravo bravo 2 charlie 3 charlie had more products than bravo but fewer products than alpha in the no hope category this is no hope alpha has 2 bravo has 1 if bravo ends up having 2 Charlie would have to have at least three. Alpha should have at least four. That's not possible. So Bravo should have only one. Alpha should have three. Charlie should have two. So Bravo one, Alpha three, Charlie two. In the no hope category, each company had an equal number of products in the promising category. Wonderful. One, 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 one Alpha, one Bravo, one Charlie. Charlie did not have any product in the doubtful category while Alpha had one product more than Bravo. So in the doubtful category there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. I 
no Charlies. One more Alpha than Bravo. So Alpha is four, Bravo is three. Wonderful. So we have filled in the numbers in each part. So let's go to the revenue part. Capture the number here very clearly. Three, two, one, four for Alpha. One, two, one, three for Bravo. Charlie is two, three, one, zero. So six Charlie products. Ten here, sixteen, and then seven here. Wonderful. Let's go on to the next category. Bravo had a higher revenue from Alpha than Alpha from products in the doubtful category. In the doubtful category, Alpha has four, fine, but Bravo has more revenue. So Bravo should have the big missing square. The other two should be Alpha. So this should be Bravo. I'm not shading it in red because I want to recognize A, B very clearly. This is A, that is B. Charlie had a higher revenue than Bravo from products in the blockbuster category. Blockbuster, Charlie had higher revenues. Charlie has three and Bravo has only two products. But if Bravo had this big square, then it would be impossible for Charlie to have more than Bravo. So Charlie has the big square, Bravo gets a small square. Bravo and Charlie had the same revenue from products in the no hope category. In the no hope category, in, in in no hope bravo has one charlie had two and so this is bravo's where we can say the area is roughly four squares charlie has to have area equal to four of these small squares each of these is one one this looks to be three it is this three plus one of these two so the big rectangular blob which about three square units area that is charlie definitely one of the other two is Charlie, which one we do not know. Maybe that's not important, but one of those two is Charlie. The remaining has to be Alpha. Right. Wonderful. Alpha and Charlie had the same total revenue considering all products. Now remember, Alpha has 10 products. Charlie has only six. Right. Alpha has this accounting for six, this accounting for four, this accounting for possibly maybe even three it looks fat this is six this is three and Charlie has one big thing that accounts for nine fine apart from this Charlie has this which accounts for three this which accounts for one there's no Charlie here whatsoever this which accounts for two this should account for six but Charlie has fewer products this six from six Charlie will get offset with this six. Fine. This three plus one will get offset by this four, which is alpha. Fine. So Charlie has one nine outstanding, but, but we can already sense that if uh, this turned out to be alpha, alpha's revenues would be far higher. And this has 10 products. If this and this got canceled, this six and this six got cancel after that Charlie has a bunch of small products it would be impossible for alpha revenues to be equal to Charlie revenues or the big square in promising has to be Charlie and the chances are the big square has to be Charlie I'm nearly 100% sure that should be Charlie because if this were alpha then these two would get cancelled and then this six would get cancelled with this six these two small ones together would not even account for this after that we have one two unit thing for Charlie and pretty much that's it and so this cannot offset all the remaining alphas or this one has to be Charlie now let's go and look at the questions considering all companies products which product category had the highest revenue highest revenue look th this it's not it. One big square, one big square, and then a bunch of things. That's not promising. Right? This is no big square. The big square amounts for nine. These amount for four, four, one, one, eight, ten, thirteen, fifteen. This is not it. This supposed to be one of these two. Right? Either doubtful or promising. We need to be specific here. Think about what can get cancelled. This six will get cancelled with this six. This nine gets knocked off with this nine. Fine. 
this 4 gets knocked off with this 4. This 6 gets knocked off with this 6. This gets knocked off with this. These two knock this off and then there's still, still some remaining. This is there or the biggest revenue is going to be blockbuster. It does help to find the number of squares and add that up and find the actual value. But you can merely compare and simplify this. That's probably going to be that little bit quicker. And you might find the numbers or you can skip the numbers part. Which of the following is a correct sequence of number of products for that Bravo had in No Hope, Doubtful, Promising and Blockbuster? Bravo, No Hope, 1. Doubtful, 3. Promising, 1. Blockbuster, 2. 1, 3, 1, 2. Choice B. After you have solved the entire grid, you're just looking at the grid and marking down this answer. Which of the following statements is not correct? Hmm. Alpha's revenue from Blockbuster product was same as Charlie's revenue from Promising products. Alpha Blockbuster. Alpha is blue. Blockbuster 3 plus 6, 9 units, 9 squares. Charlie from Promising products is 3 by 3, 9. This is indeed correct. So this is true. This is not our choice then. Bravo's revenue from Blockbuster products was greater than Alpha's revenue from Doubtful products. Bravo, Blockbuster. Bravo in Blockbuster. This is 4 plus 6, 10 square units. Alpha from Doubtful. 6 plus 4, 10 plus 2, 12. Bravo's products is 10, Alpha's is 12, Bra saying Bravo is greater than Alpha, this is false, this is not correct, or this is the choice we are looking for. The total revenues from No Hope products was less than the total revenue from Doubtful products. Doubtful, revenue, doubtful is a bigger part than this, that we can see clearly, this 4 and this 4 get cancelled. And so, there is a 6 here, 4 plus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled with a 6. There is a 2 plus 3, 5. There is a 2 plus 3, 5 here. This alone is 9. So this is definitely true. Bravo and Charlie had the same revenues from No Hope products. No Hope products. Bravo and Charlie, this is given in the question. Bravo accounts for 4 units. Charlie is this plus one of these again four units this is also true or the choice we are looking for is choice B if the smallest box in the grid is equivalent of rupees one crore then basically one square is one crore then what is the total revenue of Bravo in rupees crores total revenue of Bravo in rupees crores I'm gonna go quadrant by quadrant in this quadrant Bravo has 9, this is 9, plus 6, plus 2, which is 17 crores, this is what Bravo has, so this is the doubtful quadrant, 17, in the no hope quadrant, it's just one box here, which is 4 crores, right, so in this there is 6 plus 4, 10 yes. one of the two should be bravo it's either three or two i'm going to add this up and then worry about the remaining later unless my choices are too close i'm not worrying about this 17 plus 4 is 21 plus 10 is 31 we're looking at 31 plus 2 or 31 plus 3 the choices had 33 and 34 we'll come back to the remaining a and b being equal and then nail this but we have only 34 or the 34 crore number is the revenue. Like so 17 plus 4 plus 10 adds up to 31. Plus 2 or plus 3, basically plus 3. This should be B, this should be A. 